Hey guys, so in this lecture we're finally gonna create our first standalone Kotlin application. So in this lecture we are not going to use the Kotlin REPL, but instead we are gonna create a Kotlin file which is going to contain our application. So let's close the Kotlin REPL and you can do that by clicking the button on the right here and that's going to move it out of our way. So next thing we need to do is go over here to the left to our project view and in the source folder, we can right click it, go to new and create a new Kotlin file slash class. And now we can give it any name we like. And in this case, I'm going to call it hello world because among programmers, that's basically always the first kind of program you write. You just print out the text hello world. So let's hit okay. And IntelliJ is going to open up this file for us right away. And it's also going to generate a comment for you, but we can just get rid of that. So to create a real Kotlin application, what we need to do is we need to define a main function. And the main function is basically where Kotlin starts running our application. So it's going to look for this main function and it's going to start running the code there. And for now, what we're going to do is we're going to use IntelliJ for this because we are going to talk about functions more later on. But in this lecture, we just want to get our first Kotlin application up and running. So we're going to use one of the most important features of IntelliJ and that is code completion. So if you begin typing main, what IntelliJ is going to do is it's actually going to suggest to us this main function right here. And if we just hit enter, it's going to insert this whole function definition for us. Now don't worry too much about the details of this. We're going to talk about functions a bit later in the course and you'll be understanding every single part of this definition. But for now, we just need to know that this main function is the entry point to our application and every application will need such an entry point. If for any reason IntelliJ did not suggest the main function for you, you can press Control space, which is going to give you all kinds of suggestions. And you can close this window by pressing the escape key. All right, so now we're all good to go. Inside this main function, we can basically type all the code that we could also type in the Kotlin REPL. So we could create variables using the var keyword. And let's just create a string again. And since this application is supposed to just print out hello world, I'm going to say hello students because I'm giving a course here. And similarly, we could, of course, also um, create other variables, anything we like basically. And now to actually print something into the console, we can use a built-in Kotlin function, which is called println. And that stands for print line. So it's going to print a single line into the console. And we can use that to print out our string variable, for example. And that's already all we have to do for this simple application. So if you right click right into this editor window, we're going to see run hello world. And if we click that, what it's going to do is IntelliJ is going to compile our code and then it's going to run it. So here you can see our result, which is hello students. And if we want to print something else, we can also do the same thing by specifying a text right inside here. So let's just say what's up. And what we can also do, of course, we can not only print text, but we can actually print any kind of variable. So we can also print the H right here. And if we run this again, we can see that it prints hello students, what's up and our age, which is 23. All right, that's already all we needed to cover in this lecture. And I encourage you to just try out whatever you like in here. This main function is basically a playground for you and you can run your own applications. You can write whatever you like, create some variables, some values, maybe some nullable variables and just try out the concepts you've learned so far. And if you have any questions coming up, please just go ahead and ask me in the discussions. I'll be answering as soon as I can. And I appreciate every single one of your questions. So don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you in the next lecture.